this video, I want to show you how to get started with Sanspil Studio. This is Sanspil Studio, by the way. It's a new tool that we're making for creating and sharing Sanspil elements. And these are some of the normal Sanspil elements here. But today, I want to show you how to get started with customizing your own ones. Okay. So first thing you want to do is click on the Open Editor button that takes you into the editing mode to uh, tweak and customize the elements. Now, I want to try and make my own elements that's like some, some alien planet version of these elements. So we've got normal sand here, but I'm going to say that on an alien planet, on my alien planet, they're going to be a different color. So can you see at the top here where it says color, we've got two different shades of sand to edit. You just click on one of those and then you can drag around or click on the, on a color that you want your element to be. And at the bottom, you can change the lightness as well. So on my alien sand planet, I'm going to say the sand is blue. Okay, <laughs> some, some sort of blue like that. You, you pick two colors because can you see every element has a sort of uh, some slight shading to it. So I'm going to pick one, one blue that's a bit darker and one that's a bit lighter. So that when you when you drop it down, yeah, it has a bit of shading to it. And you know, you can change any of these elements. Just click on the element you want to change. Uh, I want to change air because I'm going to say on this alien planet, the air is a kind of orangey red color uh, instead of the normal um, normal plain white air. Okay, cool. And let's see what I'm going to change water as well, right? I'm going to say. On this planet, there is no water. There is just acid. And so I'm going to change the, this element. I'm going to change its name. Can you see where it says name there? I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to type in my own name instead. Um, but it, we need to change it from blue. I don't think that's a very acidy color. So let's pick some sort of green, yellow, acid color. Great. OK. And you can actually add more elements if you want as well. So just click this plus button at the top. And every time you um, you click it, it adds another element. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have one more. I don't want cloner, actually. I'm, I'm going to click on cloner and press the minus button to get rid of that one. OK, plant, I think I'll change that to some sort of purpley alien plant color instead. Let's. Yeah, make it, let's see. I'm going to make it purple and sort of dark purple. Nice. And stone, I, th I think the stone's a good color, but I don't want it to fall down. Okay, so I'm going to say that the stone on this planet, it just floats floats in the air because it's an uh, alien stone or something. So can you see here under where it says stone and its color, We've got the code that controls what this element does. So for this one, I just want it to do nothing. I don't want it to run any code. So I'm just going to drag that off and drop it away. So now my stone is just floating in the air. Cool. So I've made my blue sand. Um, I've got my acid, some alien plant, and floating stone. We've done it. We've made our first bunch of custom elements. I'm going to give this a title. Let's call it Alien Spiel. I'm going to post it publicly and I'll share the link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Um, send me your versions, your customized versions of the Sandspiel elements. I'd really love to see them as well. Mm -hmm.